Hello friends, it's Christy Marcotte. I hope everyone is well and staying safe, maybe getting to enjoy a bit more crafty time lately. I decided to use an older doodlebug paper pad I've had for several years. I forgot all about it and it was released in 2016. I even had a bunch of the fun coordinating doodle pops. I end up only using one of the Doodlebug stamp sets, but I did pull four of them out just in case I was going to use them. And then along with the paper pad, I do have my coordinating colors of Love From Lizzie peel-offs. And I do have a link provided in the description box if you wanna see where you can purchase those. I'll be using Doodlebug's Spring Things paper collection for this video. I love all of the new releases, but I'm also enjoying using up stuff I already own. With everything going on in the world, I know it's a bit harder to buy some of the new releases, so this is a great time to remind ourselves to use what we have. The older Doodlebug paper collections had a different style of cut aparts. I kind of miss them. One sheet has two by three inch cut aparts and the other sheet has two by two sizes along with some tiny sentiment strips. I decided I would try to use them for my set of cards. Since this is a spring themed paper collection, I will be adding an Easter sentiment to the inside and donating them to the residents at a local retirement home. I will also include a written message inside each of the cards and since I generally need around 90 cards for every holiday, I will be using another paper collection in a future video making more Easter cards. If you're new to my 6x6 videos, I love to use card sketches for inspiration. If you're interested in any of the sketches that I share, including the measurements, I do share all of that information on my coordinating blog post, and that link is listed in the description box below. I also like to use solid colored cardstock to add layers to my cards. I do try to list the colors and brands on my coordinating blog post, since I know a lot of people want to be able to purchase those same colors. Since it takes several hours to turn a 6x6 paper pad into cards, this video has been sped up six times. The real-time recording was just over five hours, and that doesn't include my planning, prep, or die-cutting time. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Now please sit back and relax and enjoy my video.
all the leftover pattern paper scraps. I didn't have very many leftover this time since I used that border die along with the circle cover-up die. In addition to the paper pad, I also used five sheets of eight and a half by 11 and 12 sheets of 12 by 12 solid colored cardstock. A total of 27 cards were made using Doodlebug Designs Spring Things Paper Collection. Since this is an older paper pad, it may not be available any longer. However, you can always use a different paper pad and still follow along with my tutorial. Perhaps another Doodlebug collection. I will include links to the products that are still available in the description box. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there and have a wonderful day.